Ladies and gentlemen, evening, and welcome to your favorite English news program that I have the honor to present today with uh, Brad, Mr. Brad Nipati, yes. as guest. You're welcome. Thank you. Can you please introduce yourself? Thank you, of course. My name is Brad Nipati. I'm a teaching assistant at the University of Georgia and also the chairman of Grand Cell. First, welcome back to our program. I have here with me Mr. Brad Nipati. Brad, you're welcome. Thank you. Can you please tell us the the main issue or the objective of your association that you just talked about, the Grand Cell? Thanks for such question. And uh, uh, to be short, Grand Cell offers scholarship to needy students, but who are also excellent at the public university uh, of Togo. And by the same means, we offer also technical assistance to them by providing them computers and also uh, devices that they can use to do online courses. By the long run, we also offer advice how to collaborate with administrative issues when they have to go from an office to another when it comes to seek for a job. Okay, so you just talked about providing scholarships. Are uh, those scholarships from um, schools in, in uh, the United States of America? Is there a scholarship office that offers this scholarship to the students? How do you come about it? Uh, first of all, let me say this. Uh, I have been uh, awarded a Fulbright scholarship. And also, uh, folks who have other public affairs scholarships gather in the U.S. to form what we call Grand Cell today. And by all means, all these Togolese collect their own money out of their tuition to pay for the scholarship they are offering to their young folks recognizing what Fulbright has done to folks and to um, all international students who are living in the U.S., we want to give back to our communities what we have been given in the U.S. Well, Mr. Mpati, as we are in studio, we are going to listen to professors and students talk to us about uh, a new approach to teaching in Togolese universities. U.S. for several years now, a new approach to teaching was introduced into the Wallace universities. It is the Anglo-Saxon system of education based on the BA, Master's and Doctorate degrees known as, known here as the LMD system. What are challenges and successes of this project program? Let's listen to the head of the English department and some students from his department. As far as the subject are concerned, if you uh, are able to eliminate one of the subjects, you do not take it anymore. And in the past, when someone uh, does not eliminate one of the subjects or two, he has to come back uh, again. And if the person fails, fails two uh, times, the person is expelled from the university. So I think the new system is whereby when you are able to make one of the subjects, you will not take it anymore. And what I know about the, the system is that it requires a lot of determination, a lot of efforts, a lot of means from the students. And I, I know it's not a kind of setback, it's not a kind of situation in which you cannot succeed. If you struggle a lot, you can get there. If you struggle a lot, you can get your BA in three years. I've built with LMD system in three years at English Parkman. Means that it's not that difficult, but maybe some circumstances that can, you know, can tragic or be some as bad, you know, uh, setbacks in life that can make it difficult according to each student. Uh, some challenges of this program. I know I can say that LMD system is not something difficult, but the the situations such as you know courses the places where but i can say that now the teachers and organization of the university is trying their best to make this system be acceptable because first of all when we came on a campus the classes were a little tight 
more students they stay in, but today you can see that due to the amelioration study they've been doing on the campus, we have some uh, a little, if I can say, a little sufficient places for students to stay in class and just have the classes as comfortable as possible. Yes, at the beginning it was very difficult. Uh, the found it very uh, difficult because, as you know, every new thing is very difficult to cope with. But when uh, time went on, finally, everybody has understood that it's the very good thing. Uh, it is very demanding. Lectures have to work very hard, and uh, especially uh, with this with this uh, new system, we need so many teachers, and teachers have to work very hard in order to uh, have much information to teach the students. And especially at this level, we have so many uh, students. Uh, so far as we talk about uh, semesters, and so we have. Uh, problem of, uh, how do you call it, classes, that is rooms, teachers too. We need more teachers and more rooms in order to implement uh, this program. And uh, uh, the government has also tried to help us a little bit by providing some of the classes. So we have been able to multiply the classes and uh, especially in the, uh, the English department, they have recruited some new uh, teachers who are helping us a lot in order to implement this program. I find it uh, very interesting. It, it trains you for tomorrow. It trains you as a future leader and it builds your personality for tomorrow. Well, Brad, you are still in the studio. We just listened to students and the head of the English department of the University of in the state of Lomé, talk to us about the challenges and the success of the LMD system, the Bachelor of Arts, the Masters and the Doctorate degree program that is being run uh, on the two university campuses of Togo. What do you have to add to this? Um, to add to this, so we all, all see how students are struggling to cope with the new system. And the grantees that we have under Grand Desel Togo we have a, a, an approach to share our experience through a platform we have for them. We develop topics that they want to know about. And later on, we offer them how grading system is in the US and Europe. So with this system, they can learn how to turn in assignment and the teacher will grade. And once the teacher grade, they can see their grades online. And also the grade book is also available for students to track on his his or her performance and that way just in case they will have to go abroad to study maybe in you well viewers you are still with us thank you very much for following what we just discussed thank you very much uh, mr brad Batty, for being with us i hope next time you again be with us in studio here certainly yeah thank you very much well viewers here comes the end of our program today hope to be with you next week at the same time evening have a nice weekend Bienvenue sur le plateau où tout est...